Scotland's earliest silver arrived with the Roman army almost 2,000 years ago. Silver was to have a lasting impact on the lands we now call Scotland, changing how people conveyed power and prestige. For a thousand years, it was valued above all other precious metals. In the late first century AD, the Roman Empire, having expanded across Europe, reached Iron Age Scotland. Attempts to conquer were abandoned and instead the Roman army kept their frontiers secure through a mix of power and persuasion. Silver was a peacekeeping tool. Payments of Roman silver coins were sent across the frontier to buy off tribal leaders in an attempt to divide and conquer. Iron Age people did not use money, but the silver was exotic and the coins brought status. The third century saw a shift in Roman policy that would change how silver was used. Roman payments beyond the frontier switched to hacked up silver objects, bullion that was made to be recycled. Silver had become a raw material. For the first time, silver objects were crafted in Scotland. With the collapse of the Western Roman Empire, supplies of fresh silver dried up. With no other sources available, recycling Roman silver became vital. This precious metal inheritance was melted and remade into generations of prestigious objects. Silver remained the essential material of power for the rest of the first millennium AD. From the moment it arrived as Roman bribes to the emergence of Scotland's first kingdoms to the dawn of the Viking Age, silver ran like a thread through changing times. For a thousand years it was silver, not gold, that mattered. <laughs>